So here in part two, after we finish uh, looking at select by attribute, we're going to go to select by location. And before we do our selection, we're going to clear our current selection. And select by location or like uh, spatial selection, there's two names for it, select by location or spatial selection. Uh, it's really a nice way to select specific features or specific uh, geometries based on its relation to others. So for example, I can come here and I want to select features from intersections that have a relation with the streets and this relations. See how many relations here? There's so many relations you can select from. So I'm going to say uh, intersect. So I'm going to select the points that intersect with the lines. I'm going to, I'm not going to apply any distance for it. So I'm going to just say apply. And what it does is going to select all the points because all the points I have in here actually intersect with the lines. I'm going to do the opposite right now to show you the difference. I'm going to say select the streets that is intersect with the intersection. If I click apply, it's going to just select the lines that intersect with the points. You see, this one is not selected because it's not intersecting with the points. You can like mix and match between these options here to try different things. You can add to your current selection. You can select uh, features based on how far it is from other features. There's so many options here that you can try and play with. Uh, but this is a really good tool to uh, select specific features based on its relation to other features. I'm going to close this one. And one of the things that we, uh, we didn't do that when we select specific features here, we can come to the selection and say, I want to have my selections to be added to the current selection or removed from current selection. So right now, because I have all the features selected, I'm going to say I want the next selection to be removed from the current one. If I select this one and I do this. So anything within my uh, rectangle I'm drawing right now will be deselected from all the selection. See, it's deselected. If I select this one, it's going to be deselected. There is another option here, say select from current selection. And because I have some features here already selected, if I do this, it's going to select only the polygon I'm selected and deselect everything else. Or add to selection. So I have one selected here. When I come and I select this one, it's going to select two lines and one point plus the already selected one. So now I have all of them selected. So this is like a selection by attribute, selection by uh, special selection or selection by location, and regular selection by doing selection like this. So I'm going to clear the selection right now. And now we're going to do something really interesting. At, uh, we're going to share this data that we have on our map right now on ArcGIS Online. And the way you do this is you come to File, and you say Share As service. The difference between map package and service, when you share it as service, you're going to publish it directly to ArcGIS Online or existing ArcGIS server. But when you say, I want to share it as a map package, it's going to create this map as a package. And this package is going to save on your location on your uh, as a zipped file and can be used as a reference that you can publish it later or you can send it to someone by email that they can publish it on ArcGIS server. So I'm going to publish it to our ArcGIS, uh, ArcGIS online. Here I'm saying I want to publish the service. And I'm going to select where I want to publish it. But here it tells me that you don't have any servers to publish your uh, map to it because I'm not signed in to my ArcGIS online account. And in order to do that, I'm going to cancel this one. I'm going to go to file again and sign in to my ArcGIS online as Enterprise ArcGIS Mastery ArcGIS Mastery underscore org password 
I'm going to sign in. And now I signed in to ArcGIS Online. It say that I'm signed. If I go back again and try to share it as service and say I want to publish, now I have the option to select I want to publish it to my hosted service on ArcGIS Mastery uh, account on ArcGIS Online. And I'm going to call this one Publish Map. I'm going to continue. And here uh, is the service editor where you do the analysis for it and you do also the like the actual publishing. And if you want your feature classes, if you want these features to be editable online, you need to come to feature access and say, I want this to have create, delete, and update uh, like capabilities. And you click analyze to make sure you don't have any errors. So here it, it said that you are missing a tags in the item description. When you double click on the error, it shows you where you can fix this error. Uh, you can publish a map service as long as it doesn't have a high severity error. Like if you have a, a medium or low, that's okay. But if you have a high one, it's not going to be published and you have to fix it first. And we fix this one by double click. It goes to the description, summary, publish map. I'm going to add this to the description as well. And I'm going to say analyze again. First error gone. Let's try the second one. And here it said tags, missing tags. Okay, I need to add a tag. Analyze again. Base map layer cannot be published directly to service. It tells me that the base map have to be removed because you can add the base map on ArcGIS Online. Now I do analyze again. And I have another high one, but it's not an error, it's a warning. And that's fine, you can actually publish it this way. Now I click Publish on here. Now it's publishing it actually on ArcGIS Online. Just going to take a few seconds because we don't have a lot of data. If you have a lot of data, it's going to take longer. And now it finished say, the publishing and it said the service has been published successfully. And when I click OK, I can add my base map again to my MXD right here, just to have it looks like before. And to see this uh, like map service we just published on ArcGIS Online, we're going to log into ArcGIS Online after our base map show up. I'm going to save our MXD again. And we are going to go to our browser and go to ArcGIS Online to see our map service there. So here I open my browser, I go to ArcGIS.com, I need to sign in. I'm going to sign to my enterprise account. And here, when you sign in, it shows you the, like, the location, uh, the information for the organization. But to see the map I just published, I go to Content. And I will see two published service here, one called Service Definition and Feature Layer. And this is the one we just published right now. If we open it, look, this is like how uh, our data looks like. And now I can open it in a map viewer. And we already have the base map already uh, show up automatically. And what you can do is you can actually do editing online. So you can say, I want to edit the uh, intersections. I want to add a new one here. And a new one here. I can, and you can do editing uh, very similar to how we do it on uh, ArcMap. Close. And you save it. Save map. You need to enter a title for it. I'm going to call it Publish Map. You have to add a tag and summary and save it. Now our map is saved. If we go back to the content, we are going to see that we have a web map. And this web map is not shared with anyone, but I can share it with a specific person or with anyone. I can make it public. And right now I can send. It gives me an error, say, do you want to continue more items? 
yes I want to continue update it tells me like be careful because this is an editable map and if you share it with public anyone can actually edit it uh, so you have to be careful with this you need to give specific and in RGS online course we're gonna see how you can give specific permissions to certain users and invite them to edit your map and not make it public because right now this one can be actually uh, edited by anyone so if I go here and copy this open in my viewer I can copy this URL and send it to anyone and when they open this URL they're gonna see the map exactly like this so let's go back again to ArcMap and now we saw how to publish uh, our data to ArcGIS online is by going to file share as service but you make sure that you signed in to your ArcGIS online account and the last thing we will do in this course is print this map in a layout and the way you do this is by coming here on the bottom and say layout view and it's going to show you like a view looks like a PDF or a paper that you can actually print and this is a really good way this is one of the powerful powerful things on, on ArcMap that you can create your own layout and print your maps in a large or small paper or you can really print really large maps and you have total control to edit how your layout going to look like so here for example I make this one bigger and I want the legend to be on the top a little bit bigger and also let's add some graphs by coming to the streets open attribute table and I can come here and say create graph and this graph gonna be based on the streets and I'm gonna use the length so it shows me graph for the length of the streets let's use shape length and I say next finish now I have my graph here but it's not in the layout what I need to do is to right click here and say add to layout now I have my graph in the layout I can close this I can close this I can come here and make this one a little bit smaller so I can have some space for my graph to show up here and I come here and say change the title to ArcGIS Mastery ArcMap Course. Okay, subtitle. I will say congratulations. You finished your first course. Okay. And now you can print this map and uh, you can share it as a PDF. You can come here and say export map. And you can select as a PDF and you can save it anywhere. And when you save it, you can open it. If I right click here and say open, you can have your map opened in a PDF and you can send it to anyone. So, I would like to thank you so much for going through this course with me. Uh, I hope that you got all the information you need that can help you create your data and start using ArcMap, start using ArcGIS the way you want to use it. And uh, let's go back to our slides. Thank you. Welcome back. And I really would like to congratulate you on finishing your ArcGIS Desktop 10.8 course. So now you can use all the tools available for you to create your GIS maps using ArcMap and all the tools you learned in this course. I totally encourage you to continue to try different things and come up with different ways to use ArcGIS Desktop and see how you will achieve that. I also appreciate your feedback on uh, leaving on the course by leaving a review or send me an email to contact at arcgismastery.com. If you have any comments or feedback, or if you want to ask for a specific things, or you want any help, or even if you want to see a course about specific uh, Esri product,
please let me know. Uh, I would love to hear your feedback and uh, create the content, the content that you are really interested in. And finally, I wish you all the best and I wish you all the su success using ArcGIS Desktop. And thank you so much for choosing ArcGIS Mastery. And we'll see you in another course. Goodbye.